welcome back to another morning word. This is where I share a couple minute video really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? I just really wanted people to fall in love with the Bible because I know it can take your life from here to here. The, the theme behind morning word is as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now if you can start to think like God by taking on Godly wisdom, surely your life can go from the whatever, whatever pit you're in, whatever situation you're in from here to here and God can turn around your life. I truly, truly believe that because I know God has been doing that in my life and still doing some work in my life, believe me. So let's really get into this. And once again, I'm not a pastor or anything like that. So please study out for yourself. See if what I'm saying is true. I may be totally wrong. Okay. Can happen. <laughs> All right. So let's get into this. We're going to be reading from the book of Numbers. And we're reading from chapter 15, verse 27, verse 30. And he reads this. But if just one person sins unintentionally, that's the word now, unintentionally, he must bring a year old female goat for a sin offering. So this is God saying, like, I forgive you, it's unintentional sins. The priest is to make an atonement before the Lord and when the atonement has been made for him, he will be forgiven, right? You will be forgiven for the mistakes that you make. But listen to this, but anyone who sins defiantly, that's intentionally, whether native born or alien, blasphemes the Lord and that person will be cut off from the people. So we're gonna talk here, and we entitled this morning's word, Unintentional Mistakes. Now we all fall short, the Bible says we all fall short. Every single person who walks this planet has messed up. Every person who walks this planet is not perfect, including me. Big time messes up, okay? Now, every day, God clearly states no one is perfect, but he will forgive those who unintentionally mess up. Doesn't, you know, sometimes you're driving and, you know, you make a mistake and you're like, ah, and you might shout something that you didn't want to say. You may have swore you didn't mean it, but something, you know, shocked you unintentional. You wasn't that meant to have bad language in front of the kids, but it was unintentional. Do you see where I'm coming from? God's like, yo, I forgive you of that. We all make mistakes, but I'm going to give you a difference. Let me give you a scenario. A man sits in his house with his wife. Early hours in the morning, he hears a crash. So he gets up to see what's the noise downstairs. He has his back because it may be an intruder. As he goes down the stairs, he actually sees the intruder who is in his house. And that intruder tries to attack him and in self-defense, he swings and hits the intruder and unfortunately he dies. Now that person has now committed a crime, but that crime would be manslaughter because he didn't mean to murder that person. It was unintentional. It was acting out of fear and out of self-defense with that bat. But let's say that same bat was used in a situation where a man goes seeking a man to hurt him because this person owns him some money. Now the man sees the guy who owns him some money and he goes and he attacks and he hits and he hits and he hits and he hits that guy and the concussion that that man receives causes him to die. That was murder. Now the judge, when facing those two situations, two people uh, have died, but one was unintentional and one was intentional. And so the crime that was intentional deserves a greater punishment. Well, God is exactly the same, but God is even more gracious. God actually says, I'll, I will forgive you your unintentional sins. But those who, people who can defiantly sinning and doing wrong and making mistakes, God says that there has to be greater consequences for you. So here's the question of the day. Are you intentionally doing wrong? Are you intentionally, intentionally, I can't get the word out, doing wrong? Lesson of the day. We all make mistakes, but we must choose to intentionally do good and not intentionally do wrong. We must be purpose to have a purpose to do right. And if we make mistakes, put our hands up and say, God, forgive me, messed up, but let's not live a life deliberately trying to do wrong. So here's the action of the day. Seek to do the wrong, the right thing. Don't seek to do the wrong thing. I know so many people at the moment who are just doing the wrong thing and they don't care. Listen, there are greater punishments, there are greater consequences, even if you don't believe in God. If you go out there continuing to do bad, what you sow, what you, you reap, what you sow. Can't get my words out today, but you will reap what you sow. So listen, let's go out there and intentionally do the right thing and not intentionally do the bad, the wrong thing. So God bless you, hope this blesses you and changes your path. If you're down that path, changes it back to that way, all right? Because we all make mistakes. So God bless you. As we say with Jen Hope, God's gift to us is life. 
what we do with that life is our gift back to God. See you soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get these videos Monday to Friday. Share them out there for anyone who's really trying to understand that Bible just a little bit more. All right, God bless you. See you soon.